Hey, welcome guys. What's going on? I am at the start of my trailhead. Tires are all aired down. Uh, let me put this here real quick. We are gonna be doing some camping. All right, so I have been here before. Um, this time at the start start of the trailhead, there's a freaking box spring right there. We're right here. So I've done this trail before. I've taken this trail all the way over here to the Salt River. Um, this time I'm gonna take it here and I'm gonna take this trail. I might go this way. We're gonna see if there's any camping out in this area. If not, I'll just hit this and then I know of a couple good camp spots. So let's just get on the trail and find a good spot to go chill for the night. So I'm at the end of the trail. So what I ended up doing is I ended up detouring and taking another trail that I was, you know, looking at when I was mapping this out and I was iffy on it because I wasn't sure if there were any camp spots. There aren't. It was, um, you know, it mostly follows like a ridge line and you're up high and then you descend down. All right, guys, I am going to hightail it back to the road that I was on and find a camp spot. I found camp. Here's the fire ring. Oh my God. Oh, it feels good to find camp. I'm walking out a little bit cause I'm kind of tucked away within like the bushes and trees. I want to see the view. Actually, it's kind of nice. So that is the view from camp. Well, I should say maybe like a hundred feet from camp. So, I mean, my plan is just to get camp set up and chill, relax, enjoy my time. I'm away from uh, any people noise. So uh, let's just get camp set up and enjoy our day and night here.
So that is camp. I did do like a little quick walk around um, just to see how dirty and what I had around camp was. There's some like plastic bottles, a bunch of cans that I'll pick up, but it wasn't that bad. I did see a bunch of wood, so I was like, rock on. So right now uh, I wanna head out of here. I wanna do a 360 of uh, the view. It's actually quite beautiful out here because I pushed it out so far it's like I don't hear anything every now and then I'll hear a plane fly by and that's about it other than that it's the wind blowing the birds chirping and me making noise Okay, so as you can see, I got the fire ring situated. I'll put the wood in there in a minute or a little later when I actually need to. So um, what I noticed was there was all these like branches and twigs were all interlocked and in these bushes and those bushes. And there were some over there as well. So I was like, cool, I'll grab those. Can use some firewood. Um, the only issue is I forgot my saw. So to be able to cut like these down, cause it's just, it's just thick enough to where it ain't going to break with my foot. Do I burn that? Do I burn it? Do I burn it? I think I'm going to. 
I'll figure out how I'll configure it so it can just be in there and just burn. See how it burns. So, uh, ow, there we go. Is it weird that I feel bad for the plant when it's leaning up against it? Cause all those dead twigs and branches that were on these, I felt so bad for the plant. That's why I took them off. I mean that and you know, firewood. Oh yeah, I realized, I thought I was at the end of the trail right here, right over here, but it continues on just a little bit more further down that way. I think, I don't know, maybe a little bit later, I'll take a little hike down there. Cause it's not that far. Uh, I was looking at the map. It's not that far till it ends. Or maybe I'll do it later, later tomorrow. I don't know. I'm gonna chill right now and then we'll go from there. I switched over to my flannel, my long sleeve, cause it's just getting a little bit chilly. I think, where is my, here it is. It is uh, 65 degrees outside right now. Which I mean, isn't that bad, but when the wind kicks in, you get that cold breeze and it's, you know, it gets a little chilly. Anyways, I am gonna get my dinner going because something I learned from my last trip is that the bugs are out and you don't wanna be cooking during sunset, um, mainly because you don't want the lights on because it's gonna attract the bugs. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook my dinner. And then probably after that, I'll spark up the fire and just enjoy my night. I am making shrimp fried rice today. All I have to do is dice up the garlic and ginger. Everything else I did at home and prepped at home, so I just gotta cook it. So let's do it, because I'm getting hungry. All right, well, I got the fire going. It's looking good. Here is my shrimp fried rice. I'm about to dive into that in just a second. <clears throat> I got everything all cleaned up, put away, squared away. Um, well, I shouldn't say I have everything put away because I am gonna make tea later. But now it's just time to enjoy the food and enjoy the fire. Man, it's really starting to go now.
All right, so that's what the fire looks like right now. All of the, let's see, hold on a second. All the wood that was right here, I broke it down. So there's the couple logs right there. And that was the last little bit of it. Uh, the others I just, I, I, I was throwing on the fire. Take a look. So it's about to go over the horizon, or over, under the horizon. So hopefully we'll see some color. I don't, it'll go quick. That is what the fire looks like right now. The sun has all but set and gone. I think there's there's just a little glimmer of uh, light you can see off in the distance, but it's pretty much done and over with. So I have been playing with the fire, moving that log around, um, putting the, the wood that I broke up in there. And that's what I'm gonna be doing the rest of the night. I made some tea, so I'm just gonna enjoy my tea, play with the fire. At some point, I'll let it go out, and yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys at some point in the morning, tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So that is the temperature right now, inside and outside. Kind of crazy that it says it's 63 in here and 46 outside. I've honestly been super lazy. Um, I am now just getting outside the tent. It's, I think, 8.30 right now. <sighs> I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make breakfast, tea, wash my face, get the fire going again, and go from there. So that log on the top, that's the big old log that I first put on there last night. So it dwindled down. Um, so something I am trying, uh, I guess this morning when I woke up, I just kind of like, let me give this a try, is uh, before I got out of the tent, um, I just started like packing up things and putting things away. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing now as I'm just kind of putting them in their place. Cause I know if I'm like done using it, I figured let me just try to put it away now. So when it's time to go, there's not so much to put away.
That is my breakfast. Cool. All right, I am going to enjoy my food and the few hours that I have left here. All right, guys, I'm gonna be packing up the last few things that I got. Well, that I have to pack up and put away. This is a nice camp spot. I definitely will be coming back to this spot. I know I did say I was gonna hike down the, you know, the end of this trail to see what was there, but I'll be back. This is too good of a spot not to come back to. You know, an interesting thing that I don't think a lot of people uh, know because, you know, I'm getting a lot of new viewers and I highly doubt you've seen whatever video I've talked about it in. But uh, if you've noticed, um, in the beginning of my videos, I put what year and, you know, episode. And I'm on year two, I think this is episode 11. And, um, you know, I was just, I was just been looking back and this is actually, I'm hitting my six month marker of posting on YouTube. And I know you're thinking year two, six months, what? So the whole year thing came about from, I didn't want to do seasons. Um, it came about from, uh, you know, starting in 2023, I was on a journey to connect my mind, body and spirit. So that was year one. I didn't start posting until September. I think I started filming in like the middle of summer, but I didn't start posting until the end of summer. I think September, I forget when, beginning of September or end of August, somewhere around there. And so that was my year one. And so I was debating the whole time when the new year was coming, well, do I switch it to year two or do I keep it year one? The whole sim symbolism behind the year was, you know, the connection of my mind, body, spirit. So this is technically year two, so that's why it's year two, and I've only been posting for six months. All right. Anyways, I'm going to be getting out of here. So I just want to say I appreciate you. Remember, it's only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.